Hi friends! Welcome to Storytelling with D. Today I'm going to tell you a story of how Singapura got its name. Are you ready? Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. One day, Sang Nila Utama went hunting and he spotted a stag. A stag is a male deer. And he started chasing the stag up a hill. And when he reached to the top of the hill, the stag had disappeared. And Sang Nila Utama found himself near a large rock. And he decided to climb it. Climb, 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 climb. He stood on top of the rock and he looked across the sea and he saw another island and it had white sandy beaches. I've never seen that before, he said. Chief Minister, what is that island over there? It is so beautiful. That, my prince, is the fishing island of the Masik. I would like to see this island. Please prepare the ship and we are leaving at once. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and He'll take you along on one. Well, while they were at sea, it started to rain. And rain. And rain some more. And soon, a great storm erupted. And the ship was tossed in huge waves. It was being thrown. was filling up. Sang Nila Utama, he was worried that the entire ship would capsize and sink. It's too heavy, it's too heavy, we need to lighten the load. Sang Nila Utama got all the people on the ship to throw out all the heavy things to prevent the ship from sinking. And that's what the men did. They got all the things that were on the ship and they threw it into the water. But the storm, the storm was too wild and water kept entering the ship. One of Sang Nila Utama's ministers came up to him and said, Prince, Prince, the only thing left on this ship that is, that is precious and heavy is that crown, that crown that you're wearing on your head. Sang Nila Utama, he removed his crown, he looked at it and he threw it into the sea as a gift. And almost at once, the storm calmed down and Sang Nila Utama, well, he could continue his journey to the Masik safely. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. Sang Nila Utama, he landed safely on the beaches of the Masik and it was beautiful. The sandy beaches, it, it, the sand, it glistened in the sun like pure white silk. 
And suddenly, in a distance, he saw a strange animal and it disappeared into the jungle. And he looked for it. It was big and had big dark mane hair and looked magnificent. Sang Nila Utama. He was so impressed by this beautiful creature. He asked his minister, well, what is this animal? I've never seen one before. And was told that it was Singa, a lion. Sang Nila Utama, he believed Singa was a sign of good luck and he decided to stay on the island. He renamed the island from the Masik to Singapura, which means the Lion City. And that, my friends, is the story of how Singapura got its name. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. Sang Nila Utama was a prince from Palembang. He loved to go on adventures and he'll take you along on one. Thank you for listening to the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Hello friends and welcome to Storytelling with Dee. I'm really excited to share this story with you. For this story, we're going to see some pictures and some of the words will be in Tamil. Are you ready? Attack of the swordfish. Singapura, oh Singapura, sunny island set in the sea. Singapura, oh Singapura, pretty flowers bloom for you and me. Singapura was a beautiful island and of course, it was surrounded by water. On bright days, the water would glow like precious blue gemstones. And on stormy days, it would turn dark and grey and the waves would crash angrily into each other. One such stormy day, the rain was pouring heavily and a shoal of swordfish was swept in by the giant tides, swept in, 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 towards the island. The swordfish were fierce and scary looking creatures. Valamina pare, dum 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 dum, yivla nila muke, dum 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 dum, pakatila pona, dum 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 dum, yena agun teriyuma. The swordfish had razor sharp bills right there and they would tear and cut into anything that they came in contact with. The people of the island, they were worried for their safety and they did not know what to do. But some of the brave fishermen, they got together and they made a plan, a plan to catch the swordfish. But oh no, the fierce creatures swept in and the fishermen did not stand a chance. They were all dragged into the water and some of them were even eaten by the swordfish. The other villagers, they were 
terrified to see what was happening. All the swordfish, they were crashing and splashing around the water and no one dared go near. Raja Iskanda, our Raja, Raja will help us. He will know what to do. Valamina pare, dum 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 dum. Ivla nila muk, dum 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 dum. Ippa yenna seyrede, dum 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 dum. Raja da solvare, dum 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 dum. So, the villagers gathered and went to see Raja Iskanda. Now, the Raja, he wasn't the nicest person. He had a great big frown on his face, a thin, cruel eyes, and a stern, strict lips. When he heard the news of what was happening, he ordered his soldiers to kill all the fish. But oh no, those fierce creatures, they came in and they swept, and the soldiers did not stand a chance. In the blink of an eye, the swordfish had attacked and the soldiers were all dragged into the water. The Raja and the people were scared and they did not know what to do. Valamina pare, dum 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 dum, yevla nila muk, dum 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 dum, Pakatila pona, dum 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 dum. Tirumbi vara mudiyadu, dum 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 dum. The Raja and the people, they were so scared, they did not know what to do. Well, what was going to happen to them? Were they going to be stuck in the island? Suddenly, from the big crowd that was gathered, they heard a voice. Ah, I have an idea. I have an idea. And they started turning around and they saw a little boy. He was about seven or eight years old. He stepped out in front of the crowd and he bowed to the Raja and he said, Dear Raja, I come from a family of fishermen and fisherwomen and I've seen the swordfish and I've watched the way they attack. There is a way. To stop them. We need to build a trap. Raja Iskanda and the people looked at each other in surprise. The boy was right they'll have to build a trap to catch the swordfish. But how will they do it? We will build a wall, said the boy. We will build a great big wall. A wall that will go through the edge of the shore. And we will use banana stems to build this wall and when the swordfish attack they will pierce their long sharp bills into the soft stem and that is how we will trap them. The Raja looked at the boy and he knew the little boy's plan might work. Why didn't he think of such a plan before by himself? Well, anyway the Raja had his soldiers and the people of the island gather all the banana trees and they made a great big fence that stretched across the sandy beach. Valamina pare, dum 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 dum. Yivla nila muk, dum 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 dum. Vala tandavachi, dum 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 dum. And just as the boy had said, when the swordfish attacked the next time, they swam angrily towards the island. But as they got closer, 
and closer and closer, they started getting stuck. One after the other and after the other, <laughs> the people, they were so happy. We are saved, we are saved, we are saved. They thanked the little boy for their brilliant idea and they got together and they celebrated him. However, the king was not pleased at all. He did not like the attention that the little boy was getting and he was worried that the clever little boy might one day grow up to be the Raja himself. And so he had a nasty idea. He called his soldiers and he ordered to kill the boy. Now, some people say that the king was successful in getting rid of the little boy. But some people say that the little boy escaped, but there was a spell that was cast that day, a spell that would keep the ground of that place red until the little boy would return someday. That is a secret that is buried in this story. And maybe someday when you go past Red Hill, you will remember this story, this story of how a very clever little boy had saved Singapore from the swordfish. Thank you for listening to the story. Tan na 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 dinam, tan na 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 dinam, tan na 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 dinam, tan na ne, tan na 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 dinam, tan na ne, tan na 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 dinam, tan na 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 dinam, tan na 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 dinam, tan na ne, tan na 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 dinam, tan na ne.